Hello and welcome to a new series, House Flipper! I'm so excited. Let's see, we've got to set up our options. Language, currency, cursors. Well, that's fun. Um, messages. Wow, they got all different kinds here. Little hammers. And I would just keep it way it is, Sam. You can always adjust it later. Mini maps and whatever the default is. Tips and information. Cool. Real time? Uh, no. <laughs> Game time is fine. Let's see. All right, and let's see. That's general, and then we have um, let's see. It's general graphics. Let's see. Quality good. No, I want the fantastic. But you can choose between, you know, what's fast and what's good, and then you got fantastic. So that's what I'm going to do. Do resolutions, screens, uh, I don't know what the rest of it is. Brightness, graphics, something, something, something. Okay, let's see what effects are. Um, yeah. Um, I don't like bloom. Bloom is kind of what you, you know, well, you guys know what Bloom is. I don't like motion blur. Not at all. Mm, the rest of it, um, fog. Mm, no. I guess that's for their new apocalyptic one that's coming out later. Um, texture quality. Well, we'll go with full. Controls, um, I assume they're fine. The sound. Let's see if we can turn the music down a little bit. We can always adjust that in game. We, I just don't know how much of it aggravates. All right, let's see. Change log. That's the new updates. Um, they just put out a whole bunch of stuff right before they, um, went live so you can read all about what it what extra things but we're gonna play so let's pick a new game yay i'm so excited i'm so excited i'm so excited i'm gonna skip over this loading part this is boring boom all right hello welcome to the house flipper this game will allow you to buy renovate decorate and sell houses for now, however, you need to con be content with this shack that you can call your office and the laptop that is your command center. Ew. So, this is our first little house and we get to... What a mess. We gotta clean it up. Up in the right hand corner you'll see your mini map, your account balance, and the room you're standing in. The plot or whatever. And let's see, on the right are tips for your mouse controller, looks like using and picking up and all kinds of stuff. I'm going to do a quick tour of the lot, see what we've got to work with here. Uh -huh. Just a tiny tiny little shack nice neighborhood though Ooh. nice fence I guess use all right let's see what this does okay it says something about if you do this you save your game or something but I guess you leave the game I don't know. If you know what this function is, just write below in the comments. Thank you. Alright. Well, I guess we should get started. So, we're going to pick up the trash. Seems pretty straightforward. 
Uh, I'm so happy I get to play this game. I've been waiting, as we all have, for months and months and months and months and months. It's time to check on the emails on my laptop. Well, first it's time to come in and... Oh, yeah. Well, this is a mess. Okay. Your laptop will allow you to find jobs and buy a house and all kinds of stuff. So this is our command center. And you have to push E. And so you got three options, mail. This is incoming mail and these are jobs. You can accept or not. And then when you do them, they'll in your go in your icon uh, archive. All right. I don't think I'm going to accept this right away because I want to kind of go around the room and see what. But this is my first job, and you can read all about it. Right now we're just kind of checking stuff out. Got the date and the time. Browser. This is the house that we own right now and you can browse for other houses. And sleep mode, you just stop. So, um, the, the purpose of the house actually is not only your command center or your home base where you come back to, but it also is a place where you practice your skills. So you learn how to do stuff and mostly I had to practice a lot here of, you know, how to pick stuff up. You have to hold the mouse button down. Um, this is a dump. <laughs> it looks awful. Yeah. Yeah, it looks terrible. Oh, dirty dishes, it's filthy, stuff's and I'm afraid to go in here. Yeah. Oh no, look at this place, it's a disaster. Okie dokie then. There's pieces missing, there's, oh this is a wreck. Let's get rid of some garbage sitting around. That's a button you can open drawers and cabinets. I'm just getting used to the controls. Okay, open and close. I got that down. <laughs> oh, yay, a chainsaw. That's what I've always wanted. So I picked it up. Can I put it somewhere else? So obviously I can't put that there because it's red don't learn later that it actually goes to a natural color there it goes see when it goes to that natural back to it you can set it there so and if you right click it'll go back to the position it was when you found it okay pick that up and move it moving things around learn to work the controls all right cool okay we have tidied up a bit looks really good so let's do a first job and we go to our email and our only one and the only advice I have about these is read them very carefully you will get prompts um, when you're actually doing the job but the little details um, I just like to read them. Alrighty, so, oh wow. And the preview in the loading screen is the room you need to work on, or the area. So, okay, congratulations, we got a mop. 
as you'll notice before, I couldn't clean up my office because I didn't have a tool for it. So when you do a job, you get you open up a new skill. Oh wow. What a mess. Now if you notice on your little mini map, you've got um, black dark icons. These will help you find the little dirt things that you can't see really. You're like, you don't notice it. And the mini map will help you kind of point you in the right direction of where the dirt is when you miss it and you will miss it. <laughs> All right, let's go in. All right, and over the right hand side, it kind of keeps a running tab of the percentage of cleaning you have to do and the garbage you have to pick up or whatever the task is. The task list will show you the room you're in at the moment. And if there is no task, it'll tell you the task is in another room. When you go in that room, it'll bring it up in that, that task. So it's kind of simple, but it took me a minute to figure it out. You'll see that. Um, you, there are other tasks that you can do, but it's best to, to do what they want you to do first. There might be extra tasks to do, but wait until you've finished everything and then you can decide if you want to do it or not. Wow. This place is a mess. I think I binged played this game for like six hours straight. <laughs> okay, that's our tablet. And our tablet will show us a store, um, our buyers perks, which are very important, statistics of what we've done, um, like there's our buyers, here's the perks, and it goes um, to statistics, there's a gallery, because you can take pictures, like befores and afters, mm, now if you click on that icon right there, it will take the picture that's in the frame. And then it'll tell you it's been saved to the gallery. So if you want to take a nice picture of like your befores and afters, you can do that. Later on I learned that you can actually change the picture that you make. Like I want to take a picture of the before. You can take a picture and turn it into wall art in your office or whatever. So that's cool. And maybe when I can afford it, I'll make this before and after. Let's get rid of that. And to, uh, you know, like a memory wall or something. All right. So now we got to figure out how to do stuff. I mean, up until this point, all I know how to do is pick stuff up. And kind of move it around. What's out here? Could this be the backyard? It's funny. They have the same exact neighbors I do. <laughs> hmm. Alright. So I've learned to open and close and pick things up and move them. Um. So now I need to learn how to clean. I guess we should. We picked up all the garbage. Well, it says we've got 93% of the garbage picked up. So there is some that we've left behind. Oh, there we found it. Just check your list. So that task is complete. All right, the next one is mount devices. Um, and also clean the dirt. So, what can we do? Oh, 
This took me a minute too to figure out how to change into the other modes. Just kind of hold it and then you just kind of drag your hand over to the cleaning. This took me a minute to figure out. There we go. Yay, I got a crappy broom. Woo! -hoo. The reason the perks are important that you can do upgrades to your mops, to your cleaning efficiency, how long it takes you to do something. So when you get them, spend them. So this is how it works. You just use it. And they give you all the instructions on the right hand side or the reminders so you'll know how to do it. You're improving. So now you can go to your tablet and you have uh, a point you can use. Okay. So for cleaning and you have three options. You can see some more dirt in the mini map. You can have a good decent mop or you can be 25% faster. Um, so what do I want to pick? Hmm. How about faster? Yeah. It won't be your op only opportunity, so let's see. Clean the count. How I wish this was the real life way to clean. <laughs> the dirt is tricky it's tricky it's deceptively easy looking but it's actually difficult because let's go in here see when we came in this room it changed to the task lists that are related to this room so it's 100% done in here so we can leave uh, let's see what's in the bathroom. All right. 25%. 75. And all the dirt's clean in here, but I didn't pay attention to it. Because it looked like there was spots on the walls, but there's not. That was just the way the tile looked. I didn't even pay attention that it said 100% clean in here. So... Good. Now I came back in here. There's um, mount devices. So there's one thing that I have to buy and install for this room that I'm in. So let's go back to my hand and f try to figure out. See, I didn't pay attention <laughs> that when you're in the other room. And when you're in this one, the task list, and there we go. And it'll tell you what you need to buy. So we need to buy a radiator. And we get our tablet and we go to the store. The store function's really cool. You can hit all and do a search, or you can search by categories. So I don't know, radiator, I don't know what that would be. Is it a bathroom thing? No. Is it an appliance? Mm. Nope. All right. What about a. Go real close. Okay. Other, maybe? Installations. There we go. All right. We have two sizes of radiators the regular and the large. That looks like it's a regular, so we'll click that, and you buy it. Then you, when it goes regular color, you click it into place. Anytime now. See, I was looking at it thinking, why isn't this connected? You know, I, was I doing something wrong? And I wasn't. 
And as soon as I figure this out, there we go. It gives me the option to install it. So here comes the fun part. So you just click on the highlighted areas. You also get, you can get upgrades to this installing process where you get faster or better or whatever. And it's done, 100%. We completed all our tasks for an income of $785.39. And simple as that. Everything was done. Anything you do after that is kind of just, you know, your own personal, uh, what would we call it? Mm, ego, because I'm going to take a picture and I want it staged a little bit better. Ah, oh, that's not bad at all. It looks very pretty now. And everything you see in this room is for sale. You can do your own office any way you like, so... Let's do the camera and take a picture. And now it's in our gallery. Very nice. Our first job we have completed. And so next thing you do is you hit enter and it will says you're hundred percent done. How much you made and do you want to complete the order? And when you complete it, you go back to the office. And I noticed in the left hand corner there are the pictures of people and they're telling you tips about what they like and what they don't like. I don't know if that's just for fun or you really need to be paying attention to that. But in any case, I've been waiting a long time for this game and I've been so excited for its release and I was not disappointed. I haven't had any bugs or problems or crashing or nothing. And other than this loading time, which is just a little bit irritating, but hey, that's normal, right? Um, I highly recommend this game, and I'm going to work on my little office here, because now I have a cleaning tool. Still don't know what this use means. What does it do? Every time I click it, it's like, uh, anyway. So now I have a new skill. And you can just hit uh, the escape button and you can exit the game. It will automatically save. And that's how it works. So thank you so much for watching this new series. I hope you're enjoying it. I'm enjoying making them, that's for sure. We'll talk to you later. Bye!